This topic is 11.2, evaluating an exponential function with base E that models a real world situation. So it's um, basically the same topic as before, but another version, okay? So I think I need to include this in the same video, in the same topic. Um, it says a species of fish was added to a lake. The population size P of T of this species can be modeled by the following function where t is the number of years from the time the species was added to the lake. And so it has my function here. It says find the initial population size of the species and the population size after seven years. Round your answer to the nearest whole number as necessary. So if they're asking you for the initial anything, that means that the time that has passed is zero time. Zero years, zero days, zero seconds. That is right now what's happening, okay? And so if I find out that value, that means I'm going to take my expression for P and I'm gonna plug in zero, okay? So that means the initial population will be whatever it is I find. So let me type that in my calculator. 1,000 fraction, oops, 1,000. 1 plus 8e to the negative 0 0.15 times 0. And it gives me 111. So there's 111 um, fish in this lake right now. Right now, initially. Okay. But now, for after 7 years, that now means that t equals 7. And so then in that expression, I'm going to now plug in 7 for t and so this is the population after seven years let's see what that is so it's the same function I'm just plugging in a 7 instead of a 0 and now I get 263 because the point is not going to change and so now after seven years it's 263 fish that are in this lake.